Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about two functions of jQuery, namely the after and the before. So we use before if you want to add an element before the location of the selected element and we will use after if we want to add the element after the location of the particular element. Let's see an example. So I'm going to add the jQuery by just copying this code here and I'm going to create a list namely a list of languages okay and okay and what I'm going to do now is I will add a language on top of the English language and then I'm going to add a language at the bottom of the list that means after the French language so it's very easy to do let's give it some kind of um, uh, ID or class or anything else that we can differentiate it with. Let's give it a ID of Lang English and let's give it ID of Lang French. Okay, and let's start the uh, and let's start the jQuery code. Do that we open the script and the slash script tag and inside that let me write the standard function here what I'm going to do is I'm going to first find out the ID of the list okay and then I'm going to use a before function and here I'm going to supply the HTML let's say li and let's let's not give the ID right now Italian and then close it by slash li make sure that it is perfect and dollar and we're going to add something after the French language um, let's say Spanish and we copy the same thing from here So let us comment out these two lines so that we can understand whether these uh, lines have any impact on our code. And we run this file and we can see that there are um, two languages and uh, now we are going to add the other languages on top and the bottom of it. So I am going to uncomment this line and this too. And when I run this again. You can see that the Italian and the Spanish language have been added to the top and the bottom of the list and that is what we were expecting. So that is how you use the before and the after statements. Uh, there's one more thing that you can do and uh, that is uh, uh, the fact that before has additional parameters where you can keep on adding more HTML to that. So let's let's add one more uh, parameter to that and let's add a language, for example, Russian to the list. Let's save and run it and let's see what happens. So you can see that more HTML was added after the Italian language and that means whatever you put after the uh, first argument will be used as the next append element. So if I add one more li and let's uh, 
user language for example Swedish and add the complete the list save and run so just keep adding the parameters and your list keeps increasing the same thing you can do with the after as well so I'll just cut and paste it here save it and run and you can see that the languages Russian and Swedish have been added to the end of the list so this is a very handy feature and uh, this is how you use before and after uh, functions of jQuery so if you have any questions do let me know thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thanks bye bye